Before the video starts, today's shout out winner goes to Outer Space. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out in the next video, drop a like and a comment down below, subscribe with notifications on, and I will pick somebody randomly that will be shouted out in my next video. I hope you guys enjoy. Yo, what's going on guys, it's Yuki here. We have some quite interesting stories for today's video. The first story is pretty juicy guys. This one's for all the grinders out there. Now, Exolity actually made his own Fortnite team. Now, we currently don't have too much information on the team, but so far we do know the team is called Forsaken. Exolity is the owner and founder of the team and Forsaken is currently hosting a recruitment challenge right now. Exolity also uploaded a video to his channel regarding his new team and I will cut up the main parts of the video and show it to you guys right now. So the big announcement is that I finally joined my own team. I founded my own team called Forsaken GG's and I'm a Put on the screen right now all the social medias, the Instagram, Twitter. If you want to grind for this clan, and if you want to join this clan, you don't have to have clout. You have to have determination, motivation, willingness to grind every single day. Be active on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. I want to see videos of you guys trying to join my clan. So I want to see. RC videos. This is a recruitment video. If you want to join my clan, all you have to do is upload your best clip, make it all into one video, and tag hashtag Zality, hashtag Forsaken GG's RC, Forsaken RC, hashtag Forsaken RC, or hashtag Forsaken GG's RC, and upload it on YouTube, Twitter, or Instagram. Upload your best clips on YouTube, and the more consistent you are, and I see you uploading every single day or every two days the more of a chance you get to join the clan So I want to see as many of you guys in the comments down below saying you're gonna grind for my clan I want to see as many YouTube videos I want to see you guys go crazy with the YouTube videos and I want to see loads of good players trying to join my clan because I'm recruiting a lot of good players that deserve recognition so I'm gonna be recruiting players content creators um, editors um, designers, GFX makers, and everything. So, if you want to join and you have something to grind for, like this is the clan, like. So go ahead and grind up right now. Okay, before I move on guys, I don't know what it is, but I've been seeing a few comments recently of people saying I sound like Exolity. Now me personally, I don't think I sound like Exolity at all. I usually get like one comment every now and then of someone saying I sound like him, but I don't know guys. Drop a comment down below and let me know if you think I sound like Exolity or not. But anyways, as you guys heard from Exolity's video, he said that you don't need clout to join his team. And that basically means that it does not matter how many followers or subscribers you have. It's all about the skill and how dedicated you are. And Exolity's team, Forsaken is actually hosting a RC right now. So if you guys want an opportunity to join Forsaken, all you have to do is upload one YouTube video with all your best Fortnite clips and put in the title hashtag Forsaken GG's RC or hashtag Forsaken RC. Also the official Forsaken Twitter tweeted out saying 500 likes and we will announce our first few players to Forsaken GG's. And at the time I'm making this video, this tweet has over 600 likes and Forsaken has not announced those players yet. But if you guys want to be kept up to date with everything that happened to Fexology's new team Forsaken, be sure sure to subscribe with notifications on. Our next story is pretty juicy guys and this one's actually juicy like I'm actually being serious this one's really really juicy. This one's coming from Ghost X. Now Ghost X actually ended up exposing a pro Fortnite player on Twitter. Now Ghost X has since deleted those tweets however I got a screenshot did you know? Now this all started when Ghost X posted a screenshot on Twitter and in the screenshot you guys can see that it is a group chat on Twitter with Ghost X, Innocence and a pro Fortnite player who goes by the name Karoz that got exposed. Now before I show this to you guys the conversation is isn't really gonna make sense because this is a screenshot out of context but the only thing that matters is what the pro player said so bear with me guys as you guys can see Karoz says in the conversation every week are you r word a two iq then innocence responds with i'm baffled you feel that way about me then ghost x says lamau if you at worlds then Karoz replies to x by saying x you legit didn't play one week nice goals then he said that word right there but i'm not gonna say it you know and then ghost x says i'll recommend you stay away from me ghost x also posts a video on Twitter of the proof and he said pro player calling everyone a R word in a chat and I will play that video for you guys right now.
And as you guys can see, Karoz, who is the pro player going around calling people the R word, is actually verified on Twitter, and he's a player for Sentinels. And the reason why this is a big deal is because everything he does reflects his organization. Like, he literally can't be going around calling people the R word, you know? Like, him and his organization Sentinels can lose sponsorships. He can miss out on many different opportunities, because nobody wants to pick up somebody with a bad reputation or a bad social media image to their organization. Also, let this be a lesson to all of you guys as well. You guys really don't want to act dumb on social media, especially going around calling people the R word. Ghost X also tweeted out saying, yeah, I snitched. I don't care, Lamau. I told the kid, links out worlds. That stuff ain't about nothing. Now he's saying it was a joke. I wonder if he would have said it was a joke when I seen him IRL too. Lamau. I don't care if I snitched. Stuff's funny AF. And since then, Karos has not apologized or made an explanation regarding the situation. But let me know what you guys think of all of this. And if you think Karos deserves punishment or not, drop it in the comment section down below. The next story is pretty sad guys. Now this one's coming from Naive. Now really quickly, if you guys don't know what Naive is, basically Naive is a team you know. Naive was created in 2014. It first started off as a Call of Duty team. And you know, Naive was an amazing COD team back in the day. And as time went by between the years of 2014 and 20. 17, 18-ish, Naive did end a few times in between those years, you know, but in like the middle to the end of 2018, Naive really focused on Fortnite, and the team actually ended up ending about a week ago. The official Naive Twitter tweeted out saying, the end, 2014 to 2019, our final video will be the 25k team touch, and then one day ago they tweeted out saying, the end, Naive 25k team touch, thank you guys for everything, but all great things come to an end, we wish everybody the best of luck in the future, flights and K9, and the team touch they uploaded for their final video video is really good. I will leave a link to Naive's final video in the description down below. If you guys want to go watch it, you can. And it is sad to see Naive end, but it is what it is, you know. Our next story is pretty cool, guys. Now, there is actually a Fortnite Clash of the Clans tournament being hosted right now. The Clash of the Clans is being hosted by K9, and it's going to be judged by Berserk, Parallel, Machi, and Cruz. And the Fortnite Clash of the Clans Twitter tweeted out saying, Season 1, Round 1. And as you guys can see, the starting bracket includes Arcane versus Jade Faction, Crimson versus Ultra, North versus Spectre, Titus is against Lunar, Sanity versus Aurora, and then finally, Synergy is up against Native. So you know, I think this is a great thing. It really brings the Fortnite community together, you know. But let me know who you think is going to win this tournament. Drop it in the comment section down below. But my money is on Synergy. Our last story is coming from FaZe. Now, they actually ended up recruiting a new member to the team. And you guys all know who he is. The official FaZe Twitter tweeted out saying, Welcome to FaZe Clan, at Nick Mercs. Hashtag MercFam, hashtag FaZe Up. And they also posted a video, and I'll play a little bit of that for you guys right now joining phase for me um, it's a big decision it's a big decision and uh, it was it was a tough decision you know for a lot of reasons but but the but the big thing for me was uh, a lot of the guys that are in phase today you know they've been in phase the whole time and that that commitment that family like energy is important to me you know um, I like seeing I like seeing the loyalty a lot of the guys on my team are big fans of phase they they we all grew up you know we watched the videos we were uh, you know, we watched the streams and then my family knew, you know, about them through me as well. Uh, but ultimately, we just, we're trying to find a home away from home, you know, and we just haven't had that yet. Uh, but no, I think with the right, with, with, the, with, the, with the right team in place and people advising me in the right direction, we, we ultimately decided that instead of being independent, you know, if there was a team to play, play for, if there was a, a flag to ride, it was phase. Something that we talked about was it's not only about you know, the MFAM and, and myself jo joining FaZe, but it's, it's, I mean, it's also about FaZe jo joining alongside the MFAM and it being like a, a partnership, you know? And, and uh, that was a huge compliment to me because I'm super proud of everything that we've done over there. And this is eight, nine years of work that I've put in with my community and, 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 and uh, together we've gotten to a certain point where, you know, an organization like FaZe says, hey, listen, can, can, we, can we partner up and do this thing? I, when I came up, they, they quit. They, they, they just didn't want to stream like I did. They didn't want to play like I did. They didn't want to put the hours in, you know, and for good reason. If a couple of these friends, they have four year degrees. And while I was screwing off playing 12 hours of Gears of War, they were in college and, and, and or, 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 or they were in their, you know, career and they were working their ass off. And uh, I feel like I'm in a position where they definitely could have been. So I gotta, I gotta keep it going, man. I, I, I'm kind of obligated to, to carry the torch, man. You know, because I know they would for me, and and that's and that same thing goes for my family. You know, I'm, at, I think, I think I have the rock right now. I'm doing good. You know, I'm taking care, of, taking care of everything I need to take care of, and I just gotta keep pushing. I'm a big family guy, you know. So again, it, it you know, it, it comes full circle. It's like uh, I'm trying, I'm trying to find a family away from the family, and I think that that's what. Uh, 
I think that's what FaZe has to offer for me. And, I mean, I haven't been in it long enough to know that, but I, I just see a lot of the same signs in there as, as, as you would. And, uh, you know, go, going home to live closer to the grandparents, to the, to the, to the pops, and to the friends, you know, it's, it's going to be a big move for me. So, holy guys, I actually saw this coming when Nick Merckx ended up leaving 100 Thieves. And as we already know, the reason Nick Merckx left is because of some false promises Nate Shaw made of him. And Nate Shaw offered 5% of 100 Thieves to Nick Merckx, and Nate Shaw didn't really go through with it. But regardless, be sure to congratulate Nick Merckx on joining FaZe Clan. But that's all the news for today, guys. If you guys happen to enjoy the video, drop a like and a comment. And if you want to be kept updated, with everything that happens, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Okay, peace.